Hi guys, hi, how are you all? Welcome to another uh, part of combination. So today this is uh, going to be all about combinations only. From part 1 to part 3, teacher already guided uh, for permutation. So permutation is all about arrangement, okay? And uh, if this is your first time, if this is your first time watching teacher's channel, I would like to welcome you. Uh, to teacher Veronica's channel and in this channel my main focus is ad mats and uh, pretty soon once teacher cover all the ad mats topics I will definitely do maths also because there has been requests but this is just focusing on one for now okay and if you stayed until the end do subscribe do share do like okay show me some love okay I'm, I will do all my best to help you understand this part combination so we get started all right let's get started so now that you all already learn okay before this that uh, okay permutation is all about arrangement isn't it okay let me just recall permutation before this you learn how to arrange you learn, you learn how, how to arrange, arrange. If, if you see the keyword arrange okay like whether arrange in straight line in line or whether arranged in a circle okay it can be anything if you see this keyword it means that you need to do permutation okay now if let's say you want to do combination you need to only see one keyword okay it's very easy this keyword is actually selection you just need to see the word selection so if you see this word selection you can straight away know that you need to use the C combination okay so now let's look at the formula okay you need to know the formula for combination okay combination formula is given as n c r okay n is usually the total number of selections r is how many you are selecting okay when uh, we do selection you need to keep in mind okay selection always happens just a simple example teacher give you up let's say you have a classroom okay here you have about uh, 10 boys okay in a class and uh, 12 girls okay 12 girls huh? so uh, you are going to form a committee okay you're going to form a committee in that committee you should have five students okay you have five students in the committee which you must have three boys and two girls now this is just example okay this is how we do selection so when you do selection like this you use the formula n combination r okay so the n is up you put n factorial over r factorial over n minus r factorial okay this formula okay is already in your textbook you can always refer to you can straight away use your calculator and calculate this part okay straight away just key in and calculate you don't have to do the factorial so you actually save time it's very important to save time in exam right it's very important so now let's look at maybe a simple example uh, how to do combination okay so now let's look at example of calculating have your calculator uh, beside you okay, if you don't have the casio class piece if you have the Casio 570, okay, I should, teacher will show you how to use using this also, okay, no problem. So now, okay, first, here they have already asked us to evaluate, okay. So straight away key in, okay, straight away key in 6, okay, shift, press shift, shift and then press the divide button okay when you press the divide button you will get like this c c, c is, is for combination okay, okay. then you press 4 so you already get straight away the answer 15 okay so here straight away we can get 15 okay let's say now you want to use the formula okay if we are using the formula so it's going to be okay this one this one teacher use calculator now we use formula if we are using formula, it's going to be like this. So write the n. n is always the up one. Huh? Okay, write the n. So 
n is 6 factorial over 4 factorial and then 6 minus 4 factorial. Okay. Uh, here what you can do is you can always take 6 times 5 times 4. Okay. Shall do down here. 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. Stop until there. Divided by 4 factorial over uh, times 2 factorial. 2 factorial is at the, at the beside there. Okay. Here if you can see 4 and 4 can cut. Can cut off already. So we are left with 6 times 5 is 30. 30 divided by 2 factorial. 2 factorial is 2 times 1. So 30 divided 2 is 15. So we get the same answer. Now this one is if you want to uh, know how to do step by step. Okay, but you can always just use the calculator. You straight away get the answer ready. Okay, so now let's try 9C9. Okay, you can use your calculator. The uh, Casio also the same. Okay, use a uh, key in first. Okay, 9. Then key in shift. Key in divide. Then key in 9 again. So 9C9, you get 1. Okay, so I hope this one is very easy. Okay, combination. Now let's look at like problem solving that uh, you know you have words that explain the type of selection that happens. So now let's look at uh, this example. Okay, so if you can see the question here, okay, in how many ways can three men and four women be selected from? It means there is already a total of number of men there from six men and five women. Okay. So first step, okay. We know that uh, the total that we want to do uh, the selection for men is three only, right? But out of how many? Out of how many uh, men? Six. Okay. So six combination three. Okay. Or we can do it like this. Okay, we can write the number of men being selected. Okay, let's do like this. Number of men being selected. So, it's total got 6. But, we are only choosing 3. Okay, so 6 combination 3. You can key in your calculator. You get 20. So, these are 20 ways. Now, how many, uh, we, let's calculate the probability for getting number of women being selected. Okay, we're going to calculate for women now. Number of women selected. So, women are selected from uh, total. How many uh, women? Total there we have 5. So, 5 combination 4. Because only 4 only needs to be selected. So, 5 combination 4 we get 5. Okay. Now that you have men and uh, women going to be selected. Okay, you just going to ask you all. Huh? Here, what is the keyword? We have men and women being selected or men or women being selected. What's the, what's the main keyword here? I think you all already know this. If you have watched my like from part 1 to part 3, teacher got, got, got to give this keyword. You can see here, the keyword is and. And that means must have the men, must have the women. Both also must have. Okay. So since both also must have, so that means take the number of men, multiply with the number of women, the way number of women are selected. So total there will be 100 ways of selecting process. Okay. So, okay. This one is quite easy actually. Okay. We are just using the multiplication rule here actually. Okay, now maybe you should just give one more, um, a little bit uh, difficult one. Okay, because combination is uh, easier than permutation. Okay, combination is easier. Than Only the permutation will have like conditions and everything. And if you haven't watched anything, you should link up here, okay, somewhere. You can click and also watch that as revision. Okay, you'll give one more example, then I will end it with a question as usual for you all to answer. Okay, now let's look at this question. Okay, the question is long, <laughs> but it's okay. We can survive. We can survive, okay? We can do this. 
All right. Let's look at the question. Let's read through the question first. Okay. A table tennis uh, team is made up of seven players. Uh, the team is chosen from nine male players and uh, five female players. Find the number of different teams that can be formed if every team okay, consists of exactly four male players. Okay. Uh, let's do the A further. So, so total, total you must have how many players in the team? Okay, let's do A first. So total as it is the team. Okay, you must have total of seven players, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so you must have total seven players, huh? Okay, so at least now we, we start off with okay, some players. Okay. The condition for A is given such that you must have exactly four male players. Okay, when you have four male players, that means um we choose a different color. This one, two, three, four. All these are male. Okay, I hope this color you can see, huh? Okay, blue color, it's kind of dark, but alright. So you can see that there are four male already chosen ready so the balance will all be the females isn't it females so from here we can already straight do our working which is okay so uh, let's uh, calculate for the number of males uh. okay so total male we have uh, nine males to choose from five females to choose from okay so so we choosing Four only, right? Okay, so nine combination four. And okay, you can do male. Here we will do female. Huh? Female will be, you should do it straight away so that you don't have to do two times the calculation. Okay, you can straight away combine. It's four, four males. Balance got three females, isn't it? But the three females you're choosing from total how many? Total we're choosing from five. Okay, so key in straight away everything in your calculator. 9C4 times 5C3. So you straight away get 1260. 1260 ways to do this team formation. Okay, okay. Let's, Let's do, do for B. B. Okay, not more than two female players. So how to form the team? How to form the team if not more than two female players uh, must be in in that uh, seven uh, team uh. okay let's look mm, okay b should do here okay so again you must have seven players only okay seven players so i just draw the one two three four five six seven okay you must not have you must not have not more than two female Okay, so, so that, that means, can I have two females? Okay, I can have uh, two females. Can okay. because not more than two. Uh. Okay, I can have two. Can I have three females in the team? No, cannot because not more. Cannot more than two. So three cannot, four females cannot, five females cannot. Okay, two, th uh, three, four, five cannot. Two females can in the team. One female only can also, right? One female only in the team can. Or maybe no females, zero females can. We are just putting the, the probability, this one, okay? So, zero, zero females, females can, can also, okay? So, now, let's calculate, okay? If, let's say, two females, okay? We, we Let's say, two females minimum are going to join the team two females are definitely joining how many balance males can join so balance will have five males correct okay if only one female is joining the team balance got six males okay six males if on no female join the the competition the team so total must have seven males so these are the options we have so it can happen this this can happen 
or this can happen or this can happen isn't it it's an or it's an or situation that means the first situation can happen or the second one or if there's a or not and uh, not the first situation happened and then second also happened third also it's not like that because uh, only one way only you can do like two females join any means five only balance the male can join okay so it's like that so that means you calculate separately and since we are using or or means must plus right okay so we plus okay so let's calculate for the first situation of uh, the two females and uh, five males okay so that one two females means uh, female got five total five combination to multiply with five males males we are selecting total, total from, from nine, nine, uh. so nine, nine combination, combination five. or so we put plus okay or one female, female only right, right. so we're choosing, choosing one only from five okay multiply with total got six males joining but six we are selecting from nine nine is their total male there okay or another situation zero female means no female at all zero okay zero also we write okay five c zero multiply with males there will be seven we are choosing from nine so we can calculate all one by one Okay, so this is going to calculate the first one 5c2 times 9c5. Here I get 1260. Then 5c1. You, you can, can do, do one shot, shot. can no problem. You can calculate together with teacher. See whether you are also getting the uh, same answer or not. Huh? Please check whether you can also get the same answer. Mm, 36, the last one. Plus 36. Okay, so now teacher already plus everything. 1260 plus 420 plus 36. So total here teacher get 1716 ways of forming the team. Okay. So teacher hope that this example okay, okay, was, was helpful, helpful because, because of, of the few conditions given right okay exactly four male not more than two female okay this is how the questions for combination comes out okay so now teacher has one uh, question for you all to try out okay so if you get the answer write it in the comment section below okay let me write the question first okay so this is the question for you guys to try out Okay, you can see here, you can uh, read through the question or you can pause this video. Understand how to answer the question. Just one small trick, especially at part B. Uh, the question is asking how many uh, groups of players can be formed if each of the group have at least four women. So, the keyword there is at least. Okay, at least four women. Huh? So, think about it. Let teacher know if you get the answer. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Okay, so this is the last part of chapter 4, form 5. So the next video, we'll already be going to probability distribution. I hope that you guys are doing practices of advice every day. Okay, keep doing your best. Don't ever, ever give up. That's never an option. Okay, if you already chose to do admats, finish it until your SPM exam. Do it, do your best. Okay, I know how hard it can be, especially now during this PDPR. Most of you are not able to study well, but teacher really hope that my, my videos are helping you guys out. Okay, so until I see you in my next video. Bye, stay safe, take care.